What's up, my buzz babes, y'all? Back with another video, okay, y'all? And before we get this message started, we're, um, we want to give all honor and glory and praise to the Most High God of Israel, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who you guys may know as Jesus Christ. Okay, y'all? So before we get this video started, um, I just basically just want to say, um, uh, yes, uh, I've been... MIA because I just had uh, my fourth baby so um yeah um, that's why I haven't been um online making videos and stuff like that um so yeah I just had her and um yeah basically I just been t taking care of her and everything like that and trying to heal and everything like that but yeah, so if anybody just been wondering why I haven't been making videos or anything like that, that's the reason and stuff like that. So yeah, so I've been pretty busy trying to do the uh, other things, you know, mother and being a mother. Um, and I have some other things that I'm working on as well. Um, so, but you guys will see in, in due time what I have work, what I am working on and what I am planning. So, um, but yeah, so that's just a little backstory, but I'm back y'all. So I just wanted to briefly talk about, you know, uh, boss babes, how some people will literally be upset with you and mad at you because you won't let, you won't let them pull you down. Okay. Um, some of y'all, y'all have old friends, you know, friends of friends, parents of friends, um, parents, siblings, aunties, uncles, um, exes, old associates, old classmates, old, even old teachers who have cursed your life. You know, they have spoken even curses upon your life. They have wished evil upon your life. You know, they have judged you based off of things that you were doing in your past and a lot of these people are mad because they cannot the the things that they have spoken against you they realize that none of the things that they said about you have manifested in your life and a lot of them is a slap to their face the fact that they judged you the fact that they ridiculed you the fact that they said that you would never be anything and the most high is lifting up a lot of you people out of these curses that these people have tried to put up on your life, you know, and it's, it's very sad, you know, when people, you know, hate on their old friends and they don't want them to do good in life. And, you know, they think that just because they're not no longer talking or, uh, associated with this person, that this person, they should, they should wish evil and bad on that person. If somebody that was your friend has fallen out with you and they decide to just go turn around and do witchcraft on you or wish evil and bad upon you, that person has always been secretly jealous of you and hating on you. And it was only a matter of time before the Most High distance, distance you from that person. You know, a lot of people, they're they're mad in this season because the Most High is it's about to bless you. You know, he's blessing a lot of you. And they're mad because they can't rope you in their drama. They can't rope you in their chaos anymore. So they, you know, they want to badmouth you. They want to talk about you. But... I'm here to tell you, boss babes, that no matter what people say about you, you know, it's not going to take away from the fact that the Most High is still going to bless you. They can be mad all, all they want over there in the corner, salty, but the Most High not going not gonna to stop blessing you, okay? So you have to realize that there are going to be people that are going to try to pull you down, and then they're going to get mad at you and say you changed, say you switched up, or they're going to try to, trying to find, they're going to try to find a fault in you. OK, they're going to try to condemn you. They're going to try to put something upon you and try to judge you for it just so they can invalidate the fact that you're with the most high and that the most high is blessing you. A lot of people are very pissed off. OK, they're letting the enemy use them, really. And they're hating on you. And they're speaking on you and acting like they have no flaws or no issues. A lot of these people that are coming up against you, boss babes, they spend every day waking up searching for you, watching you, not congratulating you, not, not, uh, wishing well for you, but then they got, but then they got the nerve to say that you're flawed and you're not doing right. But yet they still, they sit up here every day and wish bad upon you. But, but for some reason, you're the one that's not walking right with God. You're the one that's 
not doing what you're supposed to do, even though you mind your business and you don't be in drama. But people want to put you in, in drama. They want to pull you in drama. A lot of people, they just want to reconnect with you to know your business so they can go and spread it. Those people that were secretly hating on you, those people that were secretly wishing bad for you, those people that ridiculed you, they're about to be in for a rude awakening. Because the Most High is going to deal with a lot of these evil witches and warlocks that have been attacking you. It's, it's wrong to do witchcraft on someone. There's, there's no justification for it. But you know, you have people out here in their pride, in their ego, and thinking that the Most High will knock them to their feet. Knock them on their be not that he they think the most high won't knock them on their behinds. You can't go around here doing evil and doing harm to people and think that nothing's gonna come back upon you. Okay, boss babes, every every day you wake up, when you wake up, you thank the most high. And you say every every curse that was spoken against my life, spoken against my family, let it go back to the sender. You need to start saying that. Because a lot of us, we don't realize the things in our life are not going the way that we want them to. Because you have nasty individuals speaking curses on your life. That people that are jealous of you. People that don't want you to, 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 to be nothing in life because they can't get a piece of the pie. They're mad because you don't, you don't want to be in drama. They're mad because you choose to stay out the way. You don't want to be outside with them. So they mad. They talking about you. If somebody don't want to be your friend, just move on. It's not that serious. But to sit around here and obsess over somebody, do witchcraft on somebody, stay talking about somebody who not stunting you is delusional, it's weird, and it's obsessive, and it's demonic. You got a lot of people, they're demonic. And they want to have your name in their, in their mouth. But the Most High is going to humble a lot of these wicked people that continue to speak ill against you. A lot of these people have no reasons to speak ill against you. They haven't seen you in years. But yet and still, they got, the, they got your name in their mouth. They, their, their life isn't moving nowhere, so they mad. They want to they wanna talk about you. They want to hate on you. They want to wish, wish ill on you because their life isn't moving anywhere. Okay, that's what it is. So you have to know what it is and what it ain't. You have to know whose you are and whose you ain't. You a child of the most high. They can say what they want to say. They talked about Yahweh Shah, but yet, get, get, guess what? Yahweh Shah name still get talked about to this day, and he is forever remembered. Okay, and all people remember Judas for is is the one who betrayed Yahweh Shah. Even though Judas was a prophet, and he stood by Yahweh Shah, and he was there for him. People don't remember nothing good that he did. All they remember is that he betrayed Yahweh Shah, who y'all call Jesus Christ. He betrayed him. For some money. And ended up killing himself. Some of your enemies going to end up dead. Some of your enemies going to end up falling into the very same ditch that they dug for you. Keeping your name in their mouth ain't going to get them no blessings. Keeping your name in their spell book ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to bring you down. The Most High is about to humble a lot of these people. Because these people be thinking... That they are God. And they don't realize when they fighting up against you, they fighting up against the most high. They ain't fighting up against you. Okay? These people got to stop obsessing over you and worrying about you and losing sleep over to see you destroyed. It's, that's wicked. Go check yourself, okay? Check yourself. You know, that's that. you need a reality check. They need a reality check, boss babes. But the, but the Most High gonna, gonna swipe their nose because they keep coming up against you like they ain't got no life. Okay? It ain't, it ain't that much time in the world to sit up here and focus on somebody who you don't even see. Okay? The Most High blessed everybody with their own, with their own business to tend to. So go tend to it. You got people they don't want to tend to their own business. They don't want to they don't want to to live their own life. They want to keep living through you. They want to keep reminiscing on how y'all used to be friends. And keep hating on you and being mad at you because you don't want to be cool with somebody who is jealous of you and doing witchcraft on you. That's your right. 
okay? You should never, boss babe, you should never be cool with someone who wants to tear you down, with someone who wants to secretly destroy you and then play the victim. There's a lot of people out here, boss babes. They will play the victim till the day they die. It's, it, it will forever be everybody else's fault. And people like that, you got to leave them alone. You got to let you gotta let people like that, delusional people like that, who always blaming others for the way things going bad in their life, you got to leave them alone. You got to let the most high deal with them. Because people will literally kill you if you let them. If you let people bring stress in your life, if you let people betray you, when you have been nothing but good to them and you continue to be around them, you just, all you just showing these people is that they, they can just walk all over you. And let me tell you something about an evil person. They're not going to care that they're walking all over you. I didn't have people play in my face so many times, y'all. People say they don't got a problem with me, but every time I turn around, they run in their mouth about me. And then they try to point the finger at me and say, it's her, it's her, it's her. Whole time I'm minding my business. Okay? Whole time I'm sitting pretty, I'm minding my business. But I have people that are spiritually and physically obsessed with me, trying to destroy me. One thing about being a child of God, it's not going to be easy. Okay, sis? It's not. You're going to have females hating on you, talking about you, wishing bad on you. People that you don't even talk to. You you might not even have heard it from these people in years. You might could just see these people walking out on the street. They act like they don't even know you. Next thing you know, they in your DMs trying to talk to you. You got to be aware of people that's flip-floppy and wishy-washy. Them are your secret haters. These people, one minute they want to be cool with you, next minute they don't want to be cool with you. That is somebody who is jealous of you, okay? And I'm telling y'all this, boss babes, because it's time for us to get our blessings and enjoy them. You can't enjoy your blessings around a secret hater. Because let me tell you something, they're going to be plotting. Whether they're doing it in your face or behind your back, they're going to be plotting. Okay? Enjoy your blessings in secret. Okay? Because they for you. Okay? They for you. Okay, boss babes. So just keep stay, stay prayed up, y'all. You got people, you know, they want to judge you on everything you do, but they ain't moving nowhere. Instead of judging me, go do your own thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they go do your own thing, baby. Cause I'm doing my own thing. I ain't sitting around here worried about nobody and trying to watch nobody. Okay. <laughs> it's just funny to me. These people they say they don't like you, but they watch you. They say you evil. They say you all these things. But they watch you. They watch you. Mm. I must not be too much of what you're saying I am if you keep watching me. <laughs> okay? So keep shining, boss babes. They can't dim your light. They can't dim your light. They can laugh all they want. They can, they can do whatever they want, but that won't fix the emptiness that's on the inside of them. A lot of people that's laughing at you... They laughed at you for the things that you was going through. They're empty. They're empty. They have no soul. They spend their days doing evil unto others. And then wonder why they don't be blessed. And then wonder why nobody don't want to fool with them. You don't treat people right. You don't treat people right. You know? I'm, I'm praying for y'all. I, I hope and I pray that... All of my brothers and sisters that's out here struggling with their parents and, you know, dealing with wicked parents. I'm praying that y'all really get healed from that because that's, that's nothing to play with. You know, I feel sorry for my brothers and sisters out here getting attacked by their parents with witchcraft. You know, daughters dealing with jealous mothers doing witchcraft on their own daughters. It's sick. It's sick. A real mother would never, would never, baby. Okay. Shout out to the real mothers out there that's taking care of their kids, leading their kids in the right direction, teaching their hood, teaching their sons to put their wife first, take care of their children, not not competing with the with the with the wife and stuff. You know, sorry, shout out. You know, it's so it's so sad when you gotta deal when you gotta deal with things like that. Your own mother in law hating on you, doing spells on you. 
doing, you know, competing with you. Nobody should have to deal with stuff like that. Nobody should have to deal with their kids getting witchcraft on them, done on them by family members. Nobody should have to deal with that. Okay, so I'm praying for y'all, okay? And y'all pray for me. And if you don't want to pray for me, baby, you ain't got to. Because I had seen somebody come in on my comment talking about, oh, I don't want to mess up my rank. Baby, you, you obviously don't know the most high. You obviously don't. You can never mess up your rank by praying for somebody. So for you to even say that, you ain't got no rank. <laughs> you ain't got no rank. <laughs> for real, y'all. It's so many people, they'll try to sick their they evil spirits on you because you will say something that'll trigger them. You know? Instead of just going along and don't watch the video no more. They got to show you that you done made them mad. Well, you're going to forever be mad. Because if you're doing wrong, baby, it's going to hit. It's gonna, it's gonna, you're going to feel it. You know? And none of us is perfect. We all do wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the difference between us boss babes and our enemies, we don't stay stuck in our wrongs. We try to do better. As long as you fighting. You know, the most high sees that you fighting. He sees that you trying to live a righteous life. He sees that you trying to, he sees all these people coming up against you and that you keep turning the other cheek. He respects that. And he going to protect you. And he going to make sure that you got everything that you need. The Most High loves you. And he's never going to forsake you. Okay? So just know that. He said even though your mother and father will fors forsake you, he will not. You know, don't put your trust in no man above the Most High. Trust in the Most High. Whatever he shows you, it's the truth. You know? So, y'all, stay prayed up, y'all. This is your season, okay? Don't lose faith. Don't let the enemy use distractions, use people, use old habits to keep you in bondage with him, okay? When you do sins, when you do sinful things, repent. Ask the Most High for forgiveness. He hears you, and he will continue to forgive you. You know, he say a righteous man will fall down seven times, but he going to get back up. If you're struggling with smoking weed, pornography, whatever you're struggling with, pray and ask for forgiveness every time. You're struggling with gossiping. Pray and ask for forgiveness every time. You have to ask for forgiveness. Never be too prideful to ask the Most High to forgive you for your wrongs. Because he sees, he sees everybody's heart. And even if you mess up and you sin and you do something that's not good in the, in the eyes of the Most High, if you repent, he is going to forgive you. And if you mean it, and you, if you try to your best with everything inside of you to turn away from it, don't just say, I, I'm sorry, the most high, and then go right back to doing it. You got to fight. You got to fight. Every time that spirit try to come upon you to do, to have an urge to smoke or to do something you don't supposed to do, you got to fight. You got to start praying, asking the most high to help you deal with those urges. Because we can do all things. Through, through, through Christ that strengthens us, okay? I love you, my boss babies, y'all. Stay bossed up and stay prayed up. Bye, y'all.